it's time to play... The Spatula! You're right it is! Welcome back everyone! It's me, Jack, live from the Monkey House. And on today's show, we are playing The Spatula! Or wait, is it The Spatula Red? Well, I guess that depends on your perspective. All show long, we are wading through highly theoretical spatulas and coming up with three can't-miss choices. Now, any one of these spatulas would be a perfect one to add to your collection. But remember, there's only one perfect soulmate spatula for each one of our listeners. And in just a moment, we're going to hear about three more and let our spatula or spatularette choose between them. And let's find out about spatula number one. Joining us from Florida, say hello, me monkey nuts, to Connor. Hey, Connor, how you doing? Good. Great. Welcome to the Monkey House, and thank you for your contribution here on the spatula. Uh, Connor, do you have a great idea for a spatula in mind? Yeah. All right. Open up your brain, my friend, and tell us, what is your spatula? It's a magic spatula. Oh, very good. Okay, this spatula employs magic, my favorite ingredient in the food pyramid. I think that's right below cheese. Uh, Connor, uh, what does this magic spatula do, or does it have any other features beyond magic? If you push a button, a keyboard comes out, and whatever you type in it, if it's like a cartoon or something from a video, it will come to life. Oh, that's fun. Oh, cool. Okay. So it's almost like one of those smart speakers that some people have in their houses where you say something out loud. I can't say the name of the speaker because then it'll trigger all those speakers that are in people's houses. But you know the one I'm talking about. It rhymes with Schmarexma. That one. <laughs> when you say her name, anything that you ask for will just happen. But this one is a keyboard in the spatula. So do you have to know how to type to use this spatula, Connor? Uh, there's a button that has a microphone in case you don't know how to spell the word. Oh, great! Okay, good! Nice, so there's an accessibility feature. If you're uh, not able to type or you don't know how to type or it's just too cumbersome, press that microphone button and then you can speak your selection. And the magic spatula will just make it happen. Is it is it kind of like ordering at a fast food drive through window, Connor? Like... Do you have to speak into the microphone and you say, like, I'd like uh, four cheese chicken nuggets and a small strawberry shake. Like that? Like, do you have to order like you're in a drive-thru? Yes. You do? Okay, great. So it's good vocational training for all of us, whether you're working at a drive-thru or driving through and want to purchase something. Con audience, give it up for Connor in Florida. It's a magic spatula with its own keyboard. And voice activation. Okay, very good. That's our first spatula here in this round. Now let's go to uh, Canada. That's right, we're going to Ontario. Put your paws together for spatula owner number two. It's Franny. Hello, Franny. How are you? Hi, good. How are you? I'm great. Thank you for joining us. Franny, tell us about your spatula. My spatula is called the Harry Potter spatula. And so it's shaped like a wand and your like the tip of it comes out Hedwig's beak and it flips <laughs> over a pancake or whatever you're cooking for you. <laughs> wow Do you have to say like one of those Harry Potter type spells? Like do you have to yell expecto pancake or something to make that happen? No. Oh I could I yell that, though? Can if you want. Oh, good. Thank you. I just want permission to be flipping a pancake with an owl's beak out of my wand-like spatula and yell, Expecto Pancake! Oh, I'd love that. In fact, I'm just going to yeah, start that doing that every morning that I wake up from now on, even if I don't end up with this Harry Potter spatula, Franny, I'm just going to yell that in bed every morning when I wake up. First thing, it's pitch black outside, the kids, everyone's still asleep, and I'm just lying in bed, I'm going to yell, Expecto Pancake! And just see what happens. Maybe it'll, someone will bring me breakfast in bed. Do you think that would work? Maybe. 
Oh, I guess you would have to say Achio Pancake if you wanted to come to you. I, I'm a little rusty on my Hogwarts spells. <laughs> well, audience, give it up for Franny in Ontario, Canada. We're coming through with the Harry Potter spatula. All right. Two spatulas down, one to go, and uh, believe it or not, everyone, we are going straight to California for our final spatula nominator. Audience, put your paws together for California's own scrambled Megs. Oh my gosh! Oh hey! Oh wow! <laughs> Over here, scrambled Megs. I see you Instagramming yourself down on the Santa Monica Pier. Sorry, <laughs> having a classic Californian experience. Is, are you standing on a skateboard right now, too, and in a convertible all at the same time? Yeah, and obviously I have sunglasses on. Of course! Wait a minute, pull those sunglasses down. A second pair of sunglasses. <laughs> Golly! Wow! You are too cool for school. Scrambled bags, uh, how's, how are you settling into California, by the way? I know it's been a while, but for our listeners, they may have only known for a couple of weeks that you're now a Californian. How are you settling in? Are, are you comfortable there? I'm feeling very comfortable in California. You know, I just feel like one of the people. Um, do you <laughs> do you see palm trees on the regular? Like every day, do you see one? Oh yeah, I wake up to a palm tree. I go to sleep to a palm tree. I have a stuffed animal palm tree that I like to keep beside me, just so I can remember that I am indeed in California. Yeah. Uh, have you ever tried waking up and yelling uh, uh, "Expecto pancake" before? Have you ever done that in mm, bed? I haven't done that. Let's just give it a try. Uh, here's uh, let's do a little role play really fast. I'm, I'm going to play the role of your old fashioned alarm clock uh, there on your bedside table. Mm -hmm. And can you practice yelling uh, "Expecto pancake" as if you've just woken up, uh, but you're casting magic in cool California? I just want to hear what that would sound like. Could we give it a try? Sure. Yeah, for sure. Okay, here we go. So um, it's just quiet. It's morning time. The sun is just barely rising over the horizon. And then here, we, here comes the alarm clock. Expecto pancake. <laughs> oh, very nice. Oh, that sounded good. That sounded like you, maybe you were in uh, uh, Vernazza or some Italian village. Expecto pancake. Very nice. Well, uh, I'm so happy that you were coming through in the clutch here because you are no stranger to spatula scrambled eggs. Tell us, what is your spatula? Spatula number three for this round of the spatula. Well, you know what? I'm actually going to have my friend here help me out. It's his spatula idea. Oh, okay, great. Here we go. Um, so this is my friend Cooper I met down at Venice Beach. Oh, cool. <laughs> awesome. Okay, let's meet Cooper. What's up, Jack Foreman? Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm here. Hey, hey Cooper. Uh, Cooper, so you uh, you hang out at, like, Venice Beach? Uh, like, yeah. Like, are, muscle Beach? Are you, like, a are you a weightlifter, or are you more of a, like, a, like, shred in the gnar surfer kind of guy? No, I'm <laughs> totally a surfer, dude. <laughs> Hey, Cooper. Gnarly, Cooper. Um, well, welcome to the Monkey Ass. Always nice to meet a friend of Scrambled Meg's. Uh, Cooper, do you have a spatula to tell us about? <laughs> totally, dude. My <laughs> spatula is so cool. It's so <laughs> rad. Okay, okay. So, you know, like, when you're about to hit the beach and you're like, oh, man, I really need some Meg's. Uh, oh, you know, uh, I don't go to the beach often, but when I do go to the beach, I always bring a dozen eggs with me. Cooper, is that not how you all do it in California? Do you not bring eggs with you, B-Y-O-E? No, I always have a couple eggs in my back pocket. Are you sure? Right, okay. <laughs> Very nice. But my spatula that I also keep in my back pocket, uh, everything that the spatula touches gets a pair of sunglasses and a surfboard. <laughs> Oh, wait, oh, interesting. Okay, uh, hang on a second. So, I don't know what that has to do with those eggs in your pocket, but wait, see, are you saying that if you touch the eggs in your back pocket with the spatula in your back pocket, those eggs in your back pocket will end up with tiny egg surfboards and tiny egg sunglasses? Yeah, so then they can shred on my board with me. <laughs> Never leave your friends behind, man. All right. I mean, it's the most important meal of the day. And apparently, it's a great way to stay fit and healthy in that California sunshine. Well, Cooper, great to meet you, and uh, thanks for joining us here in the Monkey House. No problem. Catch you later, dude. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, check you later. In the parlance of our times, audience, uh, let's give it up for Cooper. Uh, scrambled Meg's friend in California. That's amazing. And... <laughs>
Eggs. Scrambled eggs. Um, how did you two meet? Uh, how did you meet Cooper there in California? Oh, uh, isn't Cooper so crazy? We just yeah. met. <laughs> I was walking down the beach, and I was deciding, mm, should I take surf lessons? You know, I'm a new Californian. And I saw Cooper and his board and some eggs there as well. And I was like, I don't know. Something about that guy seems pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> scalding hot beach and there's a surfer dude with eggs and you're just like I gotta talk to this guy <laughs> yeah I mean listen I wanted to know what his story was and I also wanted to learn how to surf so hey, one stop shop storytelling and surfing that's Cooper on Venice Beach well Cooper that's a free commercial for you and Scrambled Mags thanks for the introduction a friend of yours is always a friend of ours audience it's your turn now to choose between three spatulas here in this round of the spatula, will it be the magic keyboard spatula where you can type in any request? Will it be the Harry Potter spatula where you can expecto pancake with uh, Hedwig's beak? Or will it be a spatula that somehow will put sunglasses and surfboards onto the eggs that you have in your pocket on Venice Beach?